by a sculpture gel after five weeks follow-up and natural nail overlay coming up. Hello, I'm Anastasia and these are Bioculture Gel nails extensions that we did five weeks ago. Check out how thin they are and my conclusion for follow-up is that everything went great. No peeling, no chipping, no product lifting, so I'm pretty happy. Last time we did extensions because my client, she was really sad because a couple of the nails were broken. So now, after five weeks, they grew off a little bit and now we have enough of her natural nail length to do just an overlay and we do not need extensions. We are going to remove the product first. I filed off the color and the top coat. I didn't touch the product itself. And we are going to remove the gel by using the special pads that are saturated with a special removal liquid. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how many layers of the product you had. So we wrapped all the nails, wait for about 15 minutes and take them off. As you can see, the product is basically jumping off the nail and the reason that it still stays near the cuticle and along the sidewalls is because we used a special base, it's called Oxy Base, we applied it only in the center of the nail to protect it and to make the removal easier. Later today in this tutorial I will show you how it works. So we continued the removal and I have to admit this is one of the easiest sock off removals in my life. It really removes so easily while it lasted so long. Now we are going to file and shape the nails and then do the cuticle care. And today we are doing just a natural nail overlay. When done with the shaping and cuticle care, you also need to buff the surface to make the surface matte. And we are going to use vitamin dose, oxycoat, this is the one I was telling you about earlier, gel base coat and medium gel, also known as flexi gel for the structure white color as the background and pearl beautiful color as the main color and seal it with a top coat. Let's get started. Apply vitamin dose on the nail as well as on the cuticle and then apply this oxy coat only in the center of the nail to protect it and make the removal easier. And that one is ear cured. Then we apply gel base coat. Now this one should be light cured in UV or LED. I apply a super thin coat and do not cure at this time. You can if you want, by the way, but I just skip the step because it is not necessary. And then I take a little bit more to create a little structure on the surface on the nail. Now this step really depends on the nails you're working with. My client has a pretty nice and beautiful shape of her natural nails, that's why we do not really need to fix it much. But if you are dealing with the ski jump nails or with the nails that has dips on them, then you might work a little bit more and fill the dips first. Another advantage of this product I noticed, even if you apply more product than usual, it does not burn in the lamp. Now cure it for 30 seconds in LED and the next coat will be flexi gel. Once again, I do the same, I apply a super thin coat, it helps me to apply the next coat easier as you probably know the gel is easier to apply it over another gel. For longer nails you would definitely need to add more product and to make it thicker. We are doing overlay, not extensions, but you still need to keep in mind that we should build a proper structure. We should create the apex, the highest point, which should be located in the center. So if you have a short nails just like I am working with now, that means the apex will be almost in the center of the natural nail bed. Cure for 30 seconds and the overlay is almost finished. Now all we need to do is to apply the color. We decided to create this beautiful sunset color look, you will see it shortly, and we are going to need a background for it. We are using French white, which is a milky white from Biosculpture Collection. This is not the whitest white. 
and I think one coat will be enough. We just apply it, cure it for 30 seconds, and then we are going to apply two coats of the color called Catalina Sunset Pearl. And this reminds me of this chrome powder look. I think it looks pretty similar. So, if you are struggling with the chrome powders application, especially on light colors, then you might consider using the color like this. It's not just a pearl color, but it also chameleon, it shifts color. So, depending on the angle you are looking at, sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's like bluish pearl. It's pretty cool. So, we applied two coats, cure them in LED, and then we also decided to do the design, as this client is going for vacation. For the design, I am taking off the sticky layer, and I am going to use black gel paint. I usually use gel paint instead of the gel polish, because the consistency is thicker and the color is more intense. This one is Go Color by NSI. We are creating a palm tree and a couple of small birds. I think this will look really nice if you are going to vacation and you are going to see the actual palm trees. Now, before sealing any design with a top coat, make sure you fully cure it, because this particular color black it is so intense and sometimes if you cure it like for only 20 seconds it might be not enough and you can even smudge it by applying the top coat. So I would recommend to cure it even the full one minute in LED and we are done here. So this is how nail looked like after 5 weeks and this is the new overlay. It was so hard to catch the actual color with the natural light and finally we did it. This is how it looks in the real color of the actual sunset. And these are her nails when she went to vacation. Oh my god, I am so jealous. What do you think? Have you ever tried this brand? Under my last video with Biosculture Gel, there were some comments blaming me for why am I showing such an expensive products. Guys, my goal is to share the ideas, the inspiration and the techniques and the information about different products, whether they're affordable or expensive. I believe that it might be helpful for some of you. Maybe you're considering working or buying these products. So, please do not take this blame on me, I'm not working for any company or setting up the prices. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video, so do not forget to subscribe. Goodbye!